players in fighting terms, and this is the way. All right. All right. He's wearing red trunks. He weighs 215, undefeated in 31 bouts, scoring 25 knockouts. Here is Muhammad Ali. Pennsylvania. He's wearing green trunks. He weighs 205 and a half pounds, undefeated in 26 bouts, scoring 23 knockouts. The heavyweight champion of the world, Joe Frazier. Let's pick up the last minute instructions from Arthur McCanty. Since this contest is for the final, de final determination of the heavyweight championship of the world, we ask you to pay particular attention to the rules to of the New York State other. Athletic Commission. In the event of a knockdown, you must take an eight count. The other man must retire to the neutral corner. Three knockdowns and one round will automatically end the contest. Break when I tell Danny you to break. On the right. Yancey Durham on the, the, on the left. For any illegal blow. Shake hands now, man. Return to your corner. Hold it. Almost ready for the fight of the century. Yancey Durham has a question. And now we're ready. Hundreds of millions are seeing this bout around the world. A packed house at Madison Square Garden. Muhammad Ali in the red trunks. Joe Frazier in the green trunks. They appear very light. Frazier will try to pour in and catch his man. Muhammad Ali opening up fast. He may try to flick him here in round one. And he's trying it. Muhammad Ali may try a flick. He got in that good left hook. Frazier is not the easy target he used to be. He's bobbing and weaving all the time. And he's dangerous. His best punch the left hook. Muhammad Ali's best punch the jab. And his good combinations. Break, boys, break. First clinch of the fight. That was a hard left hook that caught Frazier. Frazier is more vulnerable in the first round, and Muhammad Ali knows that. Muhammad Ali shakes his head is warned for holding behind the neck. Muhammad Ali has been missing. But that jab didn't miss. Muhammad Ali shakes his head as though this man was nothing, but he was tagged. A whipping left hook to the body that must have hurt by Frazier. Now Mahala Ahmed Ali is finding the mark with those jabs. And he gets caught on the rope, which he should not do. One minute to go in round one. Frazier is smiling as he takes those jabs. trying to make use of the ring. He's standing there with Frazier. And that's not considered healthy. Muhammad Ali, flat on his feet, not up on his toes, like the Muhammad Ali of old. Frazier just fights one way. He pours in and he punishes. 15 seconds to go in the round. It's been a fairly close round. Frazier getting closer to the ex-champion. The round is almost over. Well, the round is over. This is the 
That is one of the most exciting first rounds I think we've seen in a long time. And Frazier really is re unrelenting. He keeps moving in. He hasn't given he hasn't given Muhammad Ali any chance to move around and fight his own fight. It would seem to me that Frazier is making the fight. Wouldn't you say so? I think that Frazier. Watch this in slow motion at 135, 135 seconds into the fight. Doing a good job of manhandling. Joe is shaking his head, as you can see there, as much as to win. I mean, uh, Muhammad Ali, as much as to indicate that he wasn't really hit hard. That's a subterfuge, I believe, uh, because he was hit very hard. Here we go. We're ready now, almost Cunning at the beginning man. of round two. All right, Don Dunphy. There's Joe Frazier in his corner with his manager, Yancey Durham. Champion Joe. Muhammad Ali. Round two. The Muhammad Ali that we remember of three and a half years ago was a dancer. He's not dancing tonight. He may be trying to slug with Joe. Those are hard jabs and a good right cross. Frazier may have been hurt a little bit by that punch. Referee Arthur McCanty, a fine official, gets them apart. Good exchange. A whipping right hand that did Muhammad Ali no good. A Muhammad Ali may have been shaken. It's a real pier six belt. Muhammad Ali got in the best exchange, a good one two, a moment or two ago, as you saw. Muhammad Ali is not keeping Joe Frazier away from him. However, he is scoring heavily. Round two is half over. Frazier has taken a good battering in this round. Stop talking! And the referee told them both to stop talking. They have time for that. Muhammad Ali is cut shutting Frazier with that right hand and getting away with it. And Muhammad Ali may be a little tired. Less than a minute to go in this round. Frazier every so often digs that wicked left hook to the body. It has been a dandy. Oh, that must have hurt. Frazier has been hit with solid right hands that would have felled an ordinary man. 15 seconds to go in the round. That was the best punch in the fight. That left hook. Beautiful round. Ali exhibiting magnificent skill and hard punching power. Much Very hard punching power. Watch it in the Frazier slow motion. Frazier with that left hook. That beautiful left hook. Now Ali comes back. There's no question that if Ali wins, he'll be beating Frazier at his own game, don't you think? That's right. Here is the instant replay again. Look at that right. Look at those rights. Those rights and lefts. Frazier is a strong man. He missed with a left hook that time. Ali is quite capable of tying a man up and he's strong himself. Joe oh, Frazier just spit some blood. He is bleeding inside the mouth. Round three. Round three.
two undefeated fighters. This fight so far ranks with the great ones. Again, the referee tells them to stop talking, and they sure are fighting. Frazier is not getting that clean shot at the body that he did in the earlier round, in uh, round two. It's amazing that Frazier can stand up under that battering. And he is scoring himself. Now, Muhammad Ali is telling in his favor. He has been keeping Frazier away with his longer reach. How, much, how many of those punches Frazier can take? These are big rounds for the ex-champion. Now Frazier is scoring. He said he would go to the body and he is. Frazier making good use of that head on the inside. Half a minute to go in the round. Frazier must be hoping that Ali will punch himself out. of fighting. I mean, Ali really hit Joe with everything in the book in that particular round, but Frazier is relentless. He's a little man, but he's a Sherman tank, and he, he keeps bad. moving in. And he's certainly making, they're looking at, we see him on slow motion now. There's that beautiful left hook which caught, which caught Muhammad Ali. And Ali looked tired by the end of that round. We're gonna see now the last 10 seconds of the round. While Ali is on the ropes, Joe begins to really score with some of those beautiful shots to the body. There he hit him with a left to the jaw. Now he's going to move right to the body now. And here we go for round number four. Muhammad Ali in his corner. He gets up before the bell. Round four. Four! heavily but he could get discouraged he's hit this man with his Sunday punches and Joe keeps coming in Muhammad 
Ali is piling up a tremendous amount of points. At this stage of the game, he is way ahead, no question. They're just above us. That whipping right up a cut. One of Ali's best punches. Neither one has ever fought a fighter of the caliber of the opponent tonight. No question of that. A minute to go in round four. Ali cornered on the ropes. Joe could be running out of steam too. That's still a good chance. punch instead of moving. Frazier kept pouring in relentless. Ray kept pouring right in. When then we're going to see it at 2:45 at the end of the round. 2:45 into the end of the round. Now look at look at Ali hit those blows, but look at Frazier keep coming. Now this is 35 seconds into the round. Now we're getting ready for round number five. Done, done me. <laughs> All right, Bert and Archie. Round five. Round five. Muhammad Ali may have been told to move more. He's up on his toes for the first time tonight, but he was tagged. Muhammad Ali dancing around for the first time. But Frazier has caught him again. Frazier says, come on in and fight. You know, Frazier also has a good jab. Muhammad Ali slipped there over in Frazier's corner. It's very wet, apparently. Always is in a fighter's corner. Gets his uh, right hand behind the neck and pulls Frazier in on him once in a while. Good one, two, and a jab. Now Frazier is mimicking Ali. He's just smiling at him. If anybody is psyched here, it is not Joe Frazier. Look at that hook. is just laughing at him, talking to him. You know, that's the way Muhammad Ali used to taunt his opponents. Half 
half a minute to go in the round. Bert Lancaster said that Joe Frazier was like a tank. That's just what he is. He just can't stick, keep sticking that chin out, though. What a round. What a round. Joe Frazier's taking the play away from Muhammad Ali. I don't know how, though. I don't know how he can stand this. There we are watching it now. Look at him. See him taunt him in that one. He's dropping his hands and just letting him throw punches. I don't think, however, that Frazier can continue to take those kind of punches. But he surely is some kind of a very strong, strong man. I think he's trying to psych him out, don't you? Well, it sure looks that way. I mean, this is a Joe Frazier who's apparently kept a lot of... A lot of anger against Muhammad Ali in his heart. And seconds. now he's really going to make a play. Here we are, 40 seconds into the round. Here is round six. And this is round the round Muhammad Ali said he would win in. Round six. The round. Now it's Muhammad Ali making the clinches. Frazier landed the punch. Now it's Frazier doing the punch shotting as Muhammad Ali tries to hold on. Two minutes left in the round. And the scoring, Frazier is the aggressor, and that will count for him. Half the round is over. One minute to go in the round. I get the feeling that they're both tiring a little bit. Ali almost a sitting duck here. is almost over. Ali will score no knockout in this round. That's the end of the round. There's no question about it. Joe Frazier is absolutely relentless. He's coming in there. We're going to show you 20 seconds into the round, the slow motion. Watch Joe Frazier, just relentless, pouring it on in there. For a while, Ali tried to move around, but he's not going to be able to move around like a ball. Look at that again. He's just in there. Joe is just murder. Just murder. 
He is one of the toughest men you will ever see. This is 2.25 now into the round. This is near the end, and Ali is shaking his head. This is when a man tries desperately to rally. Ali's trying to hold him off with cute little tricks. But it doesn't work. There's the buzzer for round seven. Muhammad Ali being talked to by Bondini. Round, round seven. seven. And Ali is caught on the ropes again, but this time he ties up his man. Ali shook his head, as though to say it didn't hurt, but it must have. Frazier smiling again. I asked Archie Moore between rounds if maybe Frazier was punching himself out. Archie said he didn't think so. It has got to be maybe the most torrid heavyweight championship fight of all time. Again, Arthur McCanty tells Ali, not to get that hand behind the neck. Wicked body punches by Frazier in Ali's corner. Seven half over. One minute to go in this round. Ali scoring with those solid jabs. And Frazier may have slowed down a little bit, but he dug one into the body. And Arthur McCanny tells Frazier to keep his punches up, which he just did. Ali dropping the hands. Frazier smartly goes for the body there. Well for Ali that that missed. That didn't. Ali shakes his head. The round is almost over. Round seven is over. Ali seems a little disgusted with himself, but he's mighty tired. I'd say he's having a tough time handling his razor. Wouldn't you, Archie? I think he's running out of his uh, steam. Here we come, 2.30 in the round to show you that slow motion again. Now watch Frazier. Ali misses with a right, as you can see. And a left. Frazier is in there. condition, no question. Great athletes. Oh. 
Joe Frazier just literally took charge there. Now Muhammad Ali is piling up points with those jabs. Don't, don't forget that. Joe looks like he's in a training session. Frazier's just pouring everything in there now. They're short punches, but punishing punches. Ali is making very little return here, and the crowd is getting on him. Ali is still talking, but he is, he is also catching. Frazier on. I don't know anyone who gets the sheer joy of combat the way Joe Frazier does. Elbows, but some are getting in. Here it comes, look out. There it is. Half a minute to go. Round eight of a 15 rounder, no knockdowns. Those pity pat punches aren't gonna do much for anybody. Archie, what do you think of this? I think that Ali is tired out. And I he has uh, tried to psych Joe out by pretending so Joe wasn't hurting him. I think so, too. I think he's taking a... He's taking quite a whipping. I think, he'll fight, I think he'll fight desperately in the coming right. round. Now there he is. Here we are. There we are in slow motion. 30 seconds into the round. Now watch Joe. I don't see how this fight can go the distance. But like you say, these boys are in marvelous physical condition. Well, as the crowd has changed, now they're yelling, before they were yelling Ali, Ali, now they're yelling Cho Cho. I know it. I don't see it going the distance, do you, the way it's going now? Well, I don't know. They've gone through eight rounds, Bert. That's true, but I mean, it's something, boy. They could both punch out, you know, that's possible, Bert. Joe Frazier's corner, Yancey Durham setting him up for the next round. Muhammad Ali, oh, Frazier is the pressure of the two, no question. Round nine of a 15-rounder. You must remember this in the scoring. Muhammad Ali has been making most of the clinches, and that will count against him. He has broken off the exchanges more often than not. He has also scored some devastating punches against Joe's head. Remember, against Oscar Bonavina, Muhammad Ali had enough left in the 15th round to score a knockout. Joe bobbing and weaving, trying to get that whipping left at the head. Two minutes to go in this round. Frazier coasting a moment. Got him on the ropes above us. Now Frazier is starting to relax and uh, rest on the, on the inside. 
Alright, Brooks, step back. Frazier trying to get that left hook to the head and takes punches in return. Come on, man. Come on. Frazier trying to get that guard down. Alley covering up on the ropes. That was a wicked punch. So was that. I, I think Muhammad Ali is in real trouble now. Judging by his looks. He's throwing out wild right hands. Desperation round. There we are. There we are with the slow ones. Look at Ali go. Look at him go. Look at him. As Joe, Archie said, it's a desperation round. Joe seems to be a little tired now. And yes, Ali's I thought Joe would look a little tired. Being refreshed. Ali's becoming refreshed. Did you think so, Don? I, I think Muhammad Ali summoned great reserve and, and just when he seemed to be going out, maybe. Right. What a fight, what a pace. I've never seen a pace like this. Archie, have you ever seen a faster type of fight than no, this? No, never, never. This is a beautiful thing. The only man could do this thing was Henry Armstrong. You heard that? Only Henry Armstrong, Henry Armstrong could keep this fight a pace. But two big heavy boys like this, this is quite remarkable. Round 10 is scheduled for 15. Now let's see how that punishment affected Joe Frazier. He's probably been told to stay in close now to nullify that long-range hitting of Muhammad Ali. We'll see who got the most benefit out of the minute's rest. I don't think you'll see Frazier stay out in the center again and then just trade. He'll try to keep him on the ropes. Frazier grunting as he comes in with those punches. Frazier is putting everything into his punches. And now Ali looks tired again, but that could be deceitful. But they, he wound up with that uppercut. Frazier trying to get Muhammad Ali to the ropes again. He takes punishment as he gets him there. What's going on here? Frazier, Frazier may have something wrong with his eyes. He was calling his trainer in there. Frazier may have something in his eye. Muhammad Ali's coming at him now. But Frazier's trying to nullify it. For a moment, I thought Joe was going to walk out of the ring. Frazier taking that battering again. Half 
a minute to go in the round. I mean, Ali seems to be coming back in a kind of a way. He came in with some beautiful combinations then. There was a peculiar thing happened there when Joe looked to his corner as though something was wrong, and the referee waved them on. Here we are, 125 into the round that you just saw, and now we're one looking at it in slow motion. We're trying to find out what it was that was wrong with Frazier before when he made that gesture toward his corner. This is 2.20 in the round now. 2.20 in two minutes and 20 seconds into the round. And here's the buzzer for round 11. Let's go, Joe! Round 11. rushing in there either. He's holding two. Joe so, trying to get that shot in there. Ali, Muhammad talks to him again. Dr. Kleiman 
went over to Muhammad Ali's corner. But I guess he's all right. Angelo Dundee berated him. He berated his man between rounds. Round 12. Round 12. Frazier out there quickly. go this far. Muhammad Ali gamely trying to fight back, but he is spent. And Joe Frazier is pretty spent too. A wicked punch. Joe smartly goes for the body. Frazier resting in there too. He's had a tough night. Two minutes to go in the round. Frazier is very tired himself. Frazier is getting in some wicked body licks. They're both tired. Why not after that pace? Muhammad Ali is missing a lot of those punches. Frazier laughs at him again. One minute to go on the round. Round 12. It could be a tough fight to score. Half a minute to go on the round. Round almost over. That's the end of the 12th round. And Archie, that was a tremendous round. Yes. It was. Ali made a great Rose. comeback, didn't he? That? Yes, but Frazier had him on ropes. On the last and the last had him in ropes. From someone who was out, virtually out on his feet in the round before, I would say that Ali made a great comeback, but he's a tired boy. He's a tired boy that were really working furiously in this corner, pouring ice at him. Now we're seeing an instant replay. We're seeing an instant replay. 30 seconds into the fight, into this particular round. Ali is certainly disproving any doubt that he's not a game fighter. Yeah, Frazier's been done off and made us some great body work in here. And now we hit it and we see the same action in slow motion. We're coming up for round 13 now. There's the bell. Round 13. Round 13 of a 15 rounder. Step back. Step on me, Ali is putting all his power in those punches, and they've got to be hurting Joe. The biggest crown in the world at stake, the heavyweight championship. And Ali seems to be coming back.
Now Ali is piling up points. He's boxing beautifully at the moment for a tired man. Ali slipped, but nothing happened over there. Two minutes to go in the round. Frazier let him get away after that big 11th round. And that left took hurt by Frazier. Ooh, oh, do you hear that punch? Ali making the clinches again. They're both great game fighters. There's a spot of blood on the shoulder of Ali. I guess it's from Frazier, but I don't see where. Well, they're fighting like lightweights now. Tide turns the other way now. If Frazier stays on top of Ali, Ali has no punching room. It's almost over this round. That's the bell. Round is over, round 13 is over, and what a round. I mean, that Joe Frazier's got to be some kind of a man. Ali hit him with every combination he could think of. Not once, not twice, not three times, not four times, but five or six times. Ali's a very tired man. And yet Ali wound up as being a very tired one. Joe just relentlessly keeps going. He has more stamina and power than anybody I think I've ever seen. Don't you, Archie? I think so. I think so. He's sitting there hunched over his stool, ready to go out again. There they are on the ropes just above us now. You're watching them in slow motion. Look at that lift. To Ali's jaw. Fourteen coming up. Yes. Joe Frazier is barreling in there now to keep Muhammad Ali from getting set. Wicked punches by the ex-champion. But there's Muhammad Ali caught on the ropes again. No damage that time. Two minutes to go in this round. Okay, step back. Step, step back, says the referee, Arthur McCanty. Stop holding, boy. Stop holding, says the referee. Muhammad Ali is doing the holding. He's also stalling for time. Joe Frazier wild with that punch.
Remember in the scoring, Muhammad Ali has made most of the clinches. For what that is worth. But he's dealing out plenty of punishment to Frazier as well. Frazier is very puffed around the eyes. He's got swelling around both eyes. From those tremendous jabs and hooks. Frazier's right eye looks as though it might be closing. Frazier talks to him again there. This round nearly over. Round 14. No knockdowns, but Muhammad Ali was staggered in the 11th and almost went down. That's the end of round 14, and what another great round it was. Now, if you look over at Joe's corner, there's something wrong with his face. He might very well have a broken jaw. I mean, he's got a welt there that's of, of enormous size. Now let's turn back to the instant play for a minute 35 in. Ali came through very well in this round, scoring repeatedly and seeming to get stronger. For a man who was virtually out in round 11, he's come back amazingly. These boys are in magnificent physical shape. Don't you think so, Joe? I think so. I think that Muhammad Ali has proven a lot to a lot of people that he could come back. That's right, that he could come back because he's fighting a really relentless fighter. Joe is, has a serious well. Rubbing his leg. Rubbing his now legs. we're going to look at it slowly. Oh. This is the final round of the fight, and what a fight it's been. 15 and final round. Referee Arthur McCanny has them touch gloves, something they've been doing all night. Now, Muhammad Ali is going to go boxing again. And Frazier gets in to nullify that step attack. Back. Step back, says the referee. Time is important here.
Frazier has the man in the corner. Ten seconds. Five seconds. We'll have an interview with the winner and maybe with the loser. There it is. Right at all. the two judges and the referee. There's the Bedlam in the ring here. Scoring on a rounds basis with a supplementary point system where the rounds come out even. Joe Frazier seems to be sick in his corner. He is worn out. We're waiting for the decision. Johnny Addy is collecting the cards from the officials. And the, the ring is starting to cloud up. Despite the security measures taken, the people are coming in the ring. And this was not supposed to happen. We're going to show you the knockdown again. Ladies and gentlemen, here, here comes the decision. Ball. Johnny Addy. Referee Arthur McCanty scores it. Eight, six, one even for Frazier. One vote for Joe Frazier. Addy Dollar, nine to six for Frazier. Frazier is the winner. Frazier is the winner. Correct. Eleven rounds for Frazier. Four rally. The winner by unanimous decision and stand heavyweight title. Champion of the world, Joe Frazier. Joe Frazier. For the first time in his career, Muhammad Ali was beaten. Archie Moore and Burt Lancaster are trying to get him over here. Hell no.